GSR 200 uh, it was his first base and he's been thinking about doing some upgrades to it but before he does any upgrades he wants uh, me to do some fret work for him so I'm gonna level and recrown these frets and uh, that should be it for now until he uh, decides on what like pickups he wants to get what hardware I recommended he should get a brass nut um, just because and possibly some brass saddles you know go a little old school with it so I'm just gonna level these frets his fret ends are a little sharp but you know nothing outrageous so first thing I gotta do is grab my neck check from Neck Check Guitars. This is for a 34 inch scale and a 35 inch scale. This bass is a 34 inch scale. And what we just want to do right now is get the neck as straight as it can be. It all looks good in the middle, other than the lot of the first two frets. I can see some some gap underneath. So I'm gonna first loosen up the truss rod, and of course, none of my Allen keys are up here, so I'll be right back. Oh, come with bag of tools. I had to help my neighbor put together a chair. Alright, let's see what that does. Sorry, you can't really see, but use an Allen key to loosen up the truss rod. I think that's about as straight as it's gonna get. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute just to make sure the wood stays where it's supposed to before I tape it up. And before I tape it up, I'm gonna take a clean piece of old t shirt and just wipe off any, any kind of substances that may, oh, sorry, got that may or may not be on the board itself. So my crappy painter's tape sticks. I'm not gonna remove the nut just because it should not get in the way. It should nut get in the way. Ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, he's never had any fret work on this thing. So the frets are still pretty good and there is surprisingly like very minimal wear. This is a 2002. So we got it roughly around 2002. <laughs> all right, so I got it all taped up. Kind of crappy because this tape is garbage, but whatever. So now in the process of leveling, I'll take a Sharpie, any color will do. I prefer purple. Because purple is my favorite color. And you just want to put it over the tops of the frets. You said you wanted our help with 
Oops. See, that's why you tape it up. So you just tape it up. And I'm sorry my TV's on, but I need some sound. But I will turn it down. Alright, so once it's dry, you want to take your sandpaper and your leveling beam, which I can't seem to find either of mine, but I need it. Alright, so I cleaned off my leveling beam. It's nice and flat. Now, I don't have, I, this is cheap sandpaper I bought in bulk from Amazon, but it's perfect for what, you know, I need. So what I normally do is take a piece of tape, make sure it's on there super flat, no kinks or anything. Take a razor blade, cut the tape off. Now, I'll just fold this tape over. And then boom, got a nice flat surface you can stick the sandpaper to. Now I like to keep it flat. And actually, I have an easier way to do this. Keep it flat, then decrease into it. Take your razor blade. down. Boom. And there you have your strip for leveling. Now I'm going to take some water thin CA glue, put it on the tape. Put it on. Bend the creases. Press down for a few seconds. Cut off the excess. And then I like to keep my strips because I'm a sandpaper hoarder. Fine. Sorry, my workbench is a little messy. So I take the 240, and I like to start with some smooth strokes going one way. And remember, beam will follow the radius. Just don't go too nuts. And just keep doing this back and forth until you see no purple on the tops. Also going to hit the edges a little bit, just because they were sharp. Also keeping an angle on it. cheap sandpaper so the grits are going to fall off that's why I just buy it in bulk <laughs> I 
it's not a really aggressive grit, so it's not taking off much material. And also every stroke I do takes off a bunch of grit. So just making sure that everything stays level. Still has print, uh, plenty of fret weight, so I can go a little aggressive if I want. But, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's purple on the edges of the fret now, and the top is all silver. Remember, the leveling process doesn't really take that long. It's the polishing part that takes a long time. And boom, frets are leveled. If you look close, you can see the dust. It's mostly grit that fell off the sandpaper, but there are pieces of metal from the fret in there. Perfect. And then to recrown them, you want to go back, put more purple over them, or any color you like. And now you're going to look for the opposite. When you when you uh, level, you look at the sides to see how much purple is left. The top will be flat and silver. So that's what you look for. But when you do crowning, you look for the opposite. You look for the thin purple line down the center and the ends rounded and uh, silver. Now first I'm going to try my Z-File from uh, Stumac. So the frets are leveled and they are crowned. I don't know if you can see there's a thin blue or purple line across the top. And it's all been domed over, crowned over, whatever you want to say. So now it's on to the polishing. It's going to take a long time. Alright, so I got a bunch of sandpaper here from 320 up to 3000. Uh, it's time to polish. I hate polishing. Now you want to start from 320 and go up to 3000. Uh, this is going to take a long time, so I'm not going to film it. So I'm doing this for like 20 minutes and I'm only at 600. Wish me luck. Workbench is a mess. That's what happens. You do fret levels. I'm on the last grit. 3000. I gotta change my glove. Ugh. Gross. Alrighty. 
So if I get this glove on. My hands are too sweaty for this. Come on, hand. Alright. Next step. After you get all the I'm not even gonna clean my bench yet. Just get it all pushed over. Make sure I don't lose that. Get this. All right, next step is the hand polish. So put this over to the side, keep it there. Take a tiny, tiny dab. That's way too big of a dab. And then you just rub it on. Find a new piece, rub it in again. done. Well, not yet. One more step. Next, I like to take clean cloth, clean cloth dremeling wheel, polishing wheel, and give it one last buff. Fingers just locked up. So you know I've been polishing for too long.
guys tuned to pitch. Checking the neck relief. Capo first fret. Fret the 17th, measure at the 7th. It could be tightened. <clears throat> level the frets, clean out the electronics, and yeah. So that was the recrown and level and polish. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.